Carolina. Much more still to come. But right now, since installing their litter trap in 2021, Rewa has captured 30,000 pounds of trash each year, making Greenville a little greener. So Ava Bratz is on site now to see how this device uh, catches some of that litter going downstream, the impact it all makes, Ava. 30,000 pounds, like you just said. When was the last time you personally collected 30,000 pounds of trash in one year? Thanks to Rewa and the uh, Bandalong Bungalow, Jen, we're calling it. We've got a leader in sustainability in life, also for Rewa here. Now, we are in a very kind of secluded part of the area. Tell me what we're in front of right now. So we're in front of the Bandalong Litter Trap. We're on Brushy Creek outside of our Malden Road facility here on Malden Road. Okay, and this is quite the contraption. <laughs> Fascinatingly enough, the only one in the state, how it does is. it work? So the Bandalong, is, it's a very simple concept. So it collects floating trash that's coming downstream. Um, typically, we're capturing about 85% of what comes downstream. Obviously, when we're in a storm situation, it's gonna things are going to go over or under. Uh -huh. But this is what we got in the last storm last week. And we are looking at milk jugs. We've got wrappers, different kinds of bottles, basketballs even. And so this isn't always intentional. It's just things that get swept up like in a storm, like you said. It is. So you're at the soccer game in the evening. Mm -hmm. Storm comes up. We're gathering the kids, putting them in the car. The waste basket was full, and it, it, the wind blows it over. All of that trash is going to end up here eventually. So how often? Or in other streams. Yeah. How often do you have to go in there physically and take all that stuff out? Well, it's kind of dependent on the weather. So um, we've been kind of a dry period, so we've done it less. But there are times when we've done it once a month, mm -hmm. every two weeks, just wow. um, as needed. Yeah. And here are some of the tools that you guys use. So you'll strap up. Do you have waders? Yes. Hopefully they're pink. I would want mine to be pink. I have <laughs> pink muck <mutt> boots. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, you're my girl. So we've got some of the, I mean, this is a very common thing. Yeah. You know what this is? A little grabber. Litter grabbers, mm -hmm. pitchforks. Yeah. Um, this our, is something. Our like fabrication this. guys helped us make this a little bit more handy for us. Yeah. We just get in and start shoveling. You really can't be afraid of getting dirty. Nope. You know what? And I'm kind of wanting to get in there myself right now. Who cares about the white shirt? I want the pink muck boots. Yes. And this bucket here also uniquely crafted for such a time as this? Yes, yeah, so we drilled holes in it. Mm -hmm. um, just a simple waste basket. Yeah. Drilled holes in it so that the water would drain out and we can lift it up onto the bank oh. and put the trash where it needs to go. Fascinating. And like you said, Brushy Creek, but as we're looking more toward behind my camera guy here, where is that headed? So once you go back here, Brushy Creek converges with the Reedy River mm. and then it goes into Conestee Nature Preserve. So a lot of our reason behind getting the Bandalong Litter Trap was to try to keep this floating trash from entering that preserve. Absolutely amazing. And I mean, I think everybody watching has either heard of or been to the Nature Preserve. So knowing that all of this stops before getting there. How can people help? How can people be a part of this? I'm sure a lot of people are feeling motivated right now to help. So be mindful. Yeah. So if you see a trash can that's overflowing, um, make sure when your kids are playing with their Nerf guns that we get all the bullets up. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Just small things. It, empty the waste basket before it overturns. Um, pick a piece of trash up in the parking lot. Yeah, well, it's, it's good to It's know. really simple. Yeah, and we were joking earlier. I was like, you need to have a Nerf gun bullet resale business. If you got enough of them. All your kids' Nerf gun bullets are here. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a good tip to be mindful. Yes. You know a storm is coming. Maybe, you know, hunker down those smaller, looser items and yes. keep it away from the, uh, from the band along here. All right, well, we're going to check in with sheep. I showed you oysters. We got the band along. It's sheep time. We're the wee raw. They really do okay. it all, Margaret. A lot of different green initiatives to dive into. Ava, we'll see you soon.